precision, quality workmanship, and a touch of class. I think we can all go for a bit of that. Keep watching. Yeah, welcome back to Got A Ukulele. It's review day as ever. This is your summary video review. Have a look at that link below the video that'll take you to the website where you'll get a lot more information about this one. Uh, and you'll also be able to have a look at all my other reviews. Thank yous running across the bottom of the screen there. These are the people who've said thanks with a donation through Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, or the direct thanks link on uh, YouTube now. Uh, those people are the people who really help keep this site going. Uh, my eternal thanks to those. And if you like what you see on the video, why not have a look at subscribe? to the channel and help get my subscriber count up yeah okay this brand this brand is known for precision absolute accuracy and superb build quality I've looked at them many times before I have never yet had a bad experience with this brand um, and I don't want to prejudge this review but it's another one from another part of their series this is the Kiwaya KPC 1M concert and um, it's quite stunning, really. So as I say, I don't want to preempt this, but I've never had a problem with Kawaya. They are a Japanese company, and there's something about that Japanese attention to detail, demanding exact standards that comes through in all their instruments. I've looked at them from the cheap to the expensive. They're in three series lines now. The Eco series of laminates, which are either made in Japan or like the Student series uh, are made in China. I've looked at instruments from both of those. The Artist series, which are very sympathetic Martin um, replicas and they are absolutely superb and they're all solid wood and this is kind of a newer series this is part of their strummer series which um, uh, shoo the Martin stylings and go for a more modern sort of Hawaiian style instrument um, I will say from the off I really don't like that name strummer series I don't think it comes across as particularly serious strummer series I mean it's just a name I know but I really don't like this it's the KPC 1M Right, okay, as I say, not that regular figure of eight shape. This is a much more swoopy, rounded, Hawaiian-style instrument made from all solid mahogany, and it's beautiful in colour. This is anything but, but, but boring mahogany. Two pieces on the top, back and sides. This lovely uh, dark flecked grain in the wood. Um, oh, really beautiful on the sides as well. Okay, it's just mahogany. It's not flamed or anything like that, but you know... It is really simple, and I love that chocolatey brown finish to it. This is a really nice instrument. Uh, the bridge is a tie bar made of rosewood. It is supremely tidy. Those angles and those edges are all so precise and nicely dressed off. The saddle is made of bone and is straight topped. Also really tidy as well. There's no other decoration other than this sound hole ring, which is fine for me. Just let the wood do the talking. This is this is a wooden instrument, and that's what it, that's what it wants to say. Um, and it's finished in a superb gloss, which I think is about as good a gloss as I've seen. It, we're talking Canalea level of gloss, and they really are the masters. Absolutely superb. The edges around the top and back are chamfered off, so it just feels kind of. Koaloha style of quality to the body. It's such a lovely instrument. I'm covering it with fingerprints. Sorry to World of Ukes who've loaned me this one. I will polish it before I send it. I send it back to you. Absolutely delightful. As you'd imagine, inside incredibly tidy, notched kerfing, thin braces. The top is not overly thick. Um, this is just all flawless down here. All flawless. The neck is made of mahogany, and I really love the profile of this one. It is jointed. I can't think of a technical reason why a joint is a problem, but I do point it out. I think there's just... No, there's two. There's a joint up at the headstock, very hard to see. But I will say that that joint at the heel is really obvious, and that's probably the, the first criticism I've got of it, for what it's worth. But what I really do like about it is this very, very flat profile here. A very, very flat, shallow heel here as well. This is, just feels so lovely and flat. The neck width is 37 at the nut and 28 G2A. I always say your mileage may vary and everyone's hands are different, but this, if I was specifying a luthier to build me an instrument, I'd ask them to build the neck with that profile, exactly that profile. This is so flat, nice and wide, absolutely delightful. The fingerboard is rosewood with a nod to their Martin stylings with this sort of reverse parend 
uh, reverse moustache shape at the end. It's in superb condition. The edges are rolled, um, so there's no sharp edges, not only to the frets, but there's no sharp edges to the wood either. That's really, really nice. Frets, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 to the body, very standard, 15, 16, 17, 18 in total. As I say, they are superbly dressed. I love the offset position markers, um, which are nice with that double 12th, and they're at the 5th, 7th, 10th, 12th, and 15th. That's really nice, very modern. Um, and there's dots on the side as well. This is an absolute delight, <laughs> absolute delight. Beyond the bone nut, not a crown-shaped headstock in the normal sense, so it's not your normal Martin type of headstock. I think that's really attractive. I've always liked the Kawea logo. Um, these tuners, okay, it's a concert. I think I'd still want rear-facing ones, but these are a cut above. These are Goto UK 700 tuners gears. The quality of the metalwork on these is absolutely superb, and that little mechanism there in the in the nut and the gear is you can put an allen key in there and you can raise the height of the tuning posts to change the brake angle um, for stability uh, i mean they, they are absolutely superb it comes with nothing else as a strap button and it comes in this case from world of ukes with worth brown strings although i think if you buy them direct from kawaii they may come with kawaii's own fluorocarbon but matt has put worth browns on this and the price Okay, it's not a cheap instrument. It's £799, but that is a far cry, quite, quite a way away from the Hawaiian prices or even some of the Moonbirds and things like that. So it's kind of upper intermediate level pricing, 799 An expensive instrument for sure, but I can see where every penny of that money has gone because I can't, this is absolutely flawlessly built. Um, 799 yeah, uh, it's affordable for a lot of people that I think, I think that's a good price actually, I think it's very good value for money. It's extremely light, 510 grams, uh, balances impeccably well, as you would imagine. And the sound, well I've always liked the sound of Kawaii instruments from their cheapest to their most expensive, but this is a slightly different body shape to them. To those others I've looked at so it's less traditional uh, whether that will fill out the sound a little bit more although I don't think they ever needed their sound filling out that much the volume <laughs> is amazing cool blimey it's really loud that sustain there that's seriously long sustain and, this, and the sound, I'm automatically hearing. This is a rich sound. This is mahogany. Mahogany is usually a bit woody. Some would say a bit one-dimensional. This sounds like it's made of something else. tuning a bit more. I am seriously impressed with that tone. It's it's richer than any mahogany instrument I think I've ever played. And as I say, it's like there's more than one instrument.
I am seriously, seriously in love with the sound of this instrument. I can't really describe it. It's it it it, it sounds like the several instruments playing. Really beautiful tone, really beautiful build. I think the looks are wonderful as well. I haven't really got any gripes. Yeah, I'd probably prefer rear-facing pegs, but those tuners are so precise. Um, that irritates me a little bit, but you know, no one can see it when you're playing there. It, this gets an incredibly good score because it's an incredibly good ukulele. The Kawea KPC-1M all solid mahogany concert made in Japan from those um, absolute wizards at the Kawea, Kawea uh, business. Um, this is absolutely stunning. Thank you very much, Ma Matt at World of Ukes. Posters up there. Um, who's loaned me this one. It'll be sad to see this one go back. This is an absolutely stunning instrument. I'd be more than delighted to uh, recommend this to you. I'd be more than delighted to have this in my collection. It's, it's just lovely. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Um, that's been a fun one to look at. Uh, I'm back next week. Uh, I think then I've got a couple of weeks off because I'm going to try and take a holiday, but I'm back next week. Don't know what it is next week, so I've got no clues for you, uh, but we'll try and have some fun with it. Thanks again for watching. Thanks to my supporters and I will see you very soon. Go very carefully this week. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.